Hello, manifestors. Let's talk about self-concept today. Why is self-concept a must to manifest, to consciously manifest anything? That's what we are going to talk about today. So if you are new here, please subscribe, like the video if you liked it, comment and share the video so more people like you can learn to become master manifestors. My name is Sylvian. I am a manifesting coach. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and email coaching. I have a blog that you should read every week if you want to learn more about spiritual law, the law of assumption and the teaching of Neville Goddard. I also have a podcast that will help you with the understanding of the teaching of Neville Goddard and the law of assumption. And Andreza and I have a VIP group where we share daily workshops and challenges to improve your knowledge and help you become the master manifestors that you are. And I create specific meditation videos that I share only in this VIP group as well. And let's not forget the two Q&A lives each week. And of course, I have a free Facebook group with over 5,000 members now. And I have been told many times that this is one of the best Neville Goddard's teaching manifesting community online. So this is not the first video I made about self-concept, but we never talk enough about self-concept. So... This is just another video about self-concept saying things maybe a little differently and a good reminder for us all. So what is your self-concept or your concept of self? Well, basically it's what you believe about yourself and what you believe about the world in general in regards to you. People who have low self-concept have a low self-esteem, basically. So they think very little about themselves and they probably have plenty of negative thoughts telling them you can't do this or this is too good for you or this is too good to be true. And by the same talking, they feel that people don't respect them, that people don't lack them, that people don't love them and that people don't value them. So this is the concept of self. Your concept of yourself is what you believe and think about yourself and also about what other people think and believe about yourself. And also, it is possible to have a higher self-concept in one area of your life and a lower self-concept in another area of your life. This is actually very common. People, for example, having a pretty high self-concept in the career department and a very low self-concept when it comes to their romantic relationships. But it could also be the other way around. So it is not that for everyone, self-concept is at the same level in every area of their lives. For most people, I would say it's kind of everything, but for some people, it's different from one area to another. And you can also appear to have a very high self-esteem, appear to be well put together, and have deep down inside a very low self-concept. And this was me, for example. I never looked or sounded like someone you would think had a low self-concept. I never sounded anything but being a rather strong person. But deep down, my self-concept was really, really bad. So, you see, it's not that easy to grasp people's self-concept until we really dig into who they truly are, until we really get to know them, and until we get to understand what they manifest in life. Because what you manifest in life is a reflection of your self-concept. And this is why Neville is saying this. There is no reality in the world other than your consciousness. Although you may now seem to be what you do not want to be, 
All you need to do is change it. And to prove the change by circumstances in your world is to quietly assume that you are that which you now want to be. And in a way you do not know, you will become it. So when you have a low self-concept, you need to change the beliefs that you have about yourself from within. The best way to do this is not by just affirming like a robot. Conscious affirmations are tools that you use, but it's not to replace your imagination. So if you want to use affirmations, and you should, that's perfectly fine. But you also need to use your imagination because you may not realize it, but your concept of self right now is what you are imagining about yourself to be. So on top of your affirmations, you need to feel what it feels like to be someone that is secure, self-confident, valued, loved, adored, sought after. You need to feel that person within. You need to develop that person within. What would you do? How would you act and react if you were that person? Because I have enough experience with people by now to see how those who use only affirmations without doing any inner work, they're not going anywhere. And that's why sometimes I even hear people say, when I affirm, I feel anxious. When I affirm, I feel nervous. When you have those negative feelings, when you affirm, that's not normal. Because if I affirm I am the goddess of the world, I am the best, I am loved, I am adored, my SP wants me, loves me, adores me, I would never, ever, ever feel bad about it. If you feel bad about saying such things, something is wrong. And what is wrong is that your imagination of yourself doesn't match your affirmations. This is why... If this is you, if you are feeling any negative emotions, any negative feelings, when you say your positive affirmations, it means that your concept of self is not up to the part yet. You are saying those affirmations from a very low self-concept, and this is why instead of your affirmation helping you, it's making you feel bad. So when that happens to you, you have to do what Neville tells you to do here in the quote that I just read. You have to quietly assume that you are now that which you want to be. Where do you quietly assume that? In your imagination. Because again, remember that who you think you are right now as you are listening to this, it's in your imagination as well. So you have to switch one imaginal act, the old imaginal act that you've been playing over and over and over for years, by another imaginal act, which is to assume now in your imagination that which you want to be. So right now, assume in your imagination that you are completely different than what you are right now. You are secure, you are confident, you are loved, you are admired. Practice this every single day. Because there are also some people that do things for a week or two and then they say, oh, nothing's changing. What you have been playing in your mind for years, for decades, most of us, in a week or two, for most people, it's going to take a little longer than that. But you will start seeing results very fast though. But it's not because you start seeing a few results that you have to stop either. You need to keep on practicing it until you feel that you have completely replaced your old personality by your new one. 
So when you do your inner work by using your imagination, being and feeling and visualizing who you want to be, then you can reinforce that with your affirmations. And if you do that, I promise you, you won't tell me anymore that when you say your affirmations, you feel anxious or nervous or anything negative. That's not going to happen anymore. So why is self-concept so important to manifest and to manifest anything, a person, a job, a career, anything, a status in life, whatever you want to manifest. Why is self-concept at the root of any conscious manifestation? Because everything that you manifest in life, in your physical world, stems from your concept of self. That's why Neville said what I shared a few days ago in my Instagram. To change another within my world, I must first change my concept of that other. And to do it best, I change my concept of self. For it was the concept I held of self that made me see others as I did. Every time, not just one time, not just sometimes, every time you find the man or woman of your life, your true love, and you lose them, there is never any other reason, ever, 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 but your concept of self. If you have a low concept of self, Well, first of all, you may be in the habit, in the pattern of manifesting the wrong version of people. That's one thing. But even if you manage to manifest your perfect partner, if you have a low concept of self, you are going to lose them. Because a low concept of self will tell you every day you're not good enough this person is too good for you this is too good to be true they're gonna leave you they're gonna want someone else blah 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 and you have this self-concept recording going on and on and on all throughout your day and night and this is why you lose the person and then when you're trying to get that person back within the same self-concept, as I see so many people do, because you're focusing so much on trying to use techniques to grab that person back, as if, first of all, as if they were separated from you, but you're doing it from a low concept of self, from pretty much the same concept of self, you lost them, that makes it impossible. But if you understand that once you work on yourself from within, while you manifest your specific person, that specific person has no choice but come back to you. Because there's no freaking free will. All right, there's zero free will. I was talking to a client yesterday who told me how amazed he is that his SP has zero free will. I mean, the circumstances in which he found himself just yesterday was the proof for himself and one more for me that there's no free will. But the thing is, that person I'm talking about, that client I'm talking about, has worked on his self-concept more than anything else. So stop wasting your time trying to grab things out there, especially those specific persons, but anything else really. Stop trying to grab things that first of all you feel that are outside of you, but also out of reach because your concept of self doesn't match what you want to manifest. All you have to do is work on your concept of self by doing what I just said for the past 15 minutes in this video, working this out in your imagination and reinforcing it with affirmations. If you do that, I have tons and tons of success stories as clients in my VIP group from people who are making a 180 degree 
change in their lives and results, obviously. So guys, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share the video to more people because so many people need to hear this. And if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.